Okay, so you're a Christian? Yes. Would you marry someone who is Muslim? Uh, no. Okay, why not? What? Why not? Uh, because I have to uh, marry uh, Your religion or your family says you have to? The both. Okay. <laughs> Is it because there's a fear that there won't be enough Christians? Yeah. Yeah. We have to be more. Because we are not so many. So we have to... Make sure you stay yeah. Christian. Okay. She, and she's Christian? Yes. If one of her kids or someone in her family married someone Muslim, is that okay? Of course, I would refuse uh, marriage. But friendship would be, would be very good because when it comes to marriage, it's the children who pay the price, they would be lost. Because the children would be lost between the, the differences in, uh, in religions. I assume you're Christian. You're Christian? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, would you marry a Muslim? Yes, why not? Okay. In your community, it's okay if you married a Muslim? I would take her out. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough, that's okay. Okay. Do you have friends who, Christians who married Muslims? Do you know people? Yeah. Okay. Are they men or women? Some are men and some are women. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Women and who married a Muslim? Yeah. Okay. And what happened to the women who married a Muslim? Some problem between their families. Oh, yeah? And by, by years they will forget. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, would you marry a Muslim? I don't mind marrying a Muslim. Oh shit, I thought you were going to say no. Okay. No, okay. Uh, because, because we don't have anything in uh, Christianity that says uh, you don't have to marry... You have to marry your own religion. You don't religion. have to marry... Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Now would you... Can, I don't know how believing you are, and it doesn't matter. Would you continue to be a Christian and she would continue to be a Muslim? I don't, I don't consider myself a Christian. But I consider myself a Christian for the identity. Yeah, That's yeah okay. So you're not religious, yeah, but... No, 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 I'm not religious at all. Okay, I can well, relate. I don't, I don't okay. mind marrying a... A Muslim. Now, if she was a very religious Muslim, is that okay? She yeah, won't yeah. marry me. <laughs> that's, that, that's, that's the thing. <laughs> that's true. She, she won't do it. Okay. He knows. My Muslim friend knows. Okay. You're Christian. Um, would it be okay if you married a Muslim in your family? Uh, no. Okay, why not? Because, because it's tradition or part of like, I don't know. I, personally, I don't mind, but my family would. Uh, <laughs> depends, actually. Really. Okay. Yeah. Could it be a situation where the guy is Muslim, but he's very secular? So you still do Christmas, and yeah, so it might be he's acceptable. Yeah, like open for it. If he's not like close-minded, so it would be fine. But because my uh, grandparents are quite close-minded, so but my parents don't. Mind. I have, I have the same Jewish grandparents, so it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, is it okay if you married somebody who is Muslim? Uh, I think it's from that. I, I mean, I can't hear you. I'm very open minded. Yeah. I'm okay with people marrying uh, from a different religion if it's okay. I, for my preferences, prefer not to. You prefer not to. You would yeah. prefer someone Christian. Yes. Why? I, not, not only Christian, Christian, Christian Armenian. Christian Armenian. Yeah. Okay, why? Because um, our um, traditions are the same. We could understand because sometimes because of the differences, some things become really problematic, like family-wise. Regardless if the two people in the marriage are like uh, they're okay with it, mm -hmm. but it creates more diverse problems within the family within the community. So sometimes, uh, not to deal with all the issues that are created. People prefer to marry a person from the same religion. Also for the kids, it's kind of problematic. Okay, which school they go to, it's... I mean, but some people do it, and it's fine for them to okay. What would happen if a Christian married a Muslim? She received a Muslim. 
اكيد يعني شغله المجتمع هو اكثر انه برفضها it has more to do with society being against it okay so it's not the religion uh, يعني مش الدين هو ضد الموضوع مش الدين يعني هو هو اختلاف الاديان كمان في له تاثير religion but also the differences in religion has an impact okay له تاثير كمان انه يقدر الاثنين كمان يكون في توافق بيناتهم يعني يعني من ناحيه التربيه كمان في اختلاف معين to be in agreement so it has to do also with the upbringing of both of them okay so is there a difference if it's a christian man or a christian woman and a muslim woman or ما له علاقه ما له علاقه والواحد يفكر كمان للمستقبل اكثر كمان للولاد كمان راح يلتحموا in the future of the kids because they're going to be uh, mixed up as in which religion do we follow okay. does she know anyone who's mixed تعرفي حدا امه وابوه من اديان مختلفه Yes, she does. And how? Keep your life. يعني عم بالأول ده أقولك إنه أنا كمان يعني وظيفتي أخصائية معينة فأنا كتير يعني مشغل مع قضايا جوا المجتمع اللي عن جد الأولاد ضاعوا وهيك شيء مرحلة. With such causes and we have seen children who have who have become lost because of these issues. بالذات انه يعني حتى في كثير ناس الدين مش مهم لهم يعني هم بيتزوجوا بس لانه هم قادرين يتفاهموا مع بعض بس تاثير الشيء على الاولادهم You said you're half Christian half Muslim Yeah but like who's who's who and just explain for me it doesn't matter No no I'm neither if you want to like so I don't believe in any religions It's for the people outside they don't understand this Oh, okay. But your father is Muslim. Your mother is who? Yeah. Who's Muslim? Uh, my mom. Your mom is Muslim. Your father is Christian. F ma sorry, father is Muslim. Yeah. Your mother is Christian. Yeah. And because I'm asking Christians and Muslims if they would marry the other. Yeah, there there are plenty actually in Palestine. Okay. Uh, I know a lot of people, my friends, a lot of family who are uh, mixed. So. Okay. Uh, there's only a problem with the law, like. Uh, you know, inheritance law and all the things that follow being... Meaning, do you follow Christian or do you follow Muslim? That's the idea, you uh, mean? No, actually, like, uh, you know, the because uh, the family law in Palestine, it's either uh, a, a Sharia law, the Islamic mm -hmm. law, or the, like, the law of the church. So that's when the problems, you know, arise. Mm. Okay. But uh, other than that, I, I never felt that there's any problem being half half or okay do any of your friends have issues being half and half um, it happens in some families it depends how strict the family following the religion you know sometimes especially if uh, if a, a Muslim girl marries a Christian guy then that, that's when the problems happen explain what is that problem what is it what happens the problem is that uh, by law in Palestine, mm -hmm. uh, they are not considered married if if the man is uh, Christian and the woman is Muslim. Mm. So in that in this particular case, the man has to uh, say I'm a Muslim, even like even if it's only by paper, okay. to to consider the marriage legal. That mm. is the problem. Okay. But socially, what if you get married outside? You go to the U.S. and you get married and you come back. Is it recognized? Uh, it's rec legally. I mean, it's recognized, but it's not recognized in Palestine again. By legally, problem. we're talking about by the not state. Not legally. Yeah. Okay, that's it. The most helpful thing you can do for the Ask Project is to come here, visit, rent a car, and we'll go ask questions together. You can ask any question you want. I'd love to have you come. Just send me an email at the Gmail at the end of this video.